The purpose of today is primarily for the students to have fun and for them to engage with some physical making. So what we did initially was we showed the students around our model making workshop, showed them our main work area where there are lots of models in process at the moment, basically talked about how we got into model making and hopefully to make them aware that it exists as a job that you can do and a thing that you can now study at degree level. The students will get miniature figures that we use in our model making and place them into areas that they find in and around our office and create little scenarios for those little figures and the little storyline. It's quite annoying because they're so small and they like fall out of your hands. And you have to use your imagination a lot <clears throat> to kind of incorporate everyday things into tiny people. Having a little bike on a big bike going to have this model like climbing up the ice cream cone but the ice cream cone is kind of like a mountain and we've had another one climbing up a cup as well. It was quite hard because we didn't have much um, ideas and stuff but once we kind of um, took our time and looked at it more and stuff we, uh, we got more ideas. We've decided that the people on the the carrot <laughs> are heading towards where the sign said. I love working with kids just because they come up with such different things and so you know they're always thinking of something slightly different and yeah I mean kind of a bit cheesy but outside the box really. So what's happened so far is that the students have um, pinned up some wonderful photos of small scenarios that they've conjured up. Some of them we will now choose, uh, I think what we'll do is get a group discussion going, see which ones people are keen to pursue. If we build up the landscape, we can't really go much further than that with the climbing scenario. So I don't know what to do next. It's a little bit of a struggle to start with, but um, they're getting some good ideas around. Um, getting the juices flowing. Once you have an idea and it is a good idea, it is hard to expand on it sometimes because like, you've already got the good idea so you wonder how you can make it better. We're going to do a man on the floor trying to fend off the answer. <laughs> eating his ankles or something. And then there's going to be jam um, kind of covering the floor which is his blood. So hopefully that will draw the ants in to eat him. It will look like he's eating it. Well, it started off with just messing around with this character on a pound coin. Because he looks a little bit like a banker, we thought that maybe he could um, live in like a money city or something. Um, maybe exploit just ordinary looking people. I think it's opened up a different idea of creativity for them um, and certainly continues to push one of the things that we're very keen to develop that creative arts is not just about painting and drawing and the very traditional arts that sort of a lot of the students are aware of and the schools maybe are, are sort of pushing students more those routes. It's been great. One of the tutors said that the group were a little bit quiet this morning and I was thinking, oh yeah, they're not very forthcoming. But then as soon as they got out there, as soon as they got their little figures, they started getting into the scenarios and really enjoying it and suddenly I could see smiles on their faces and then they got into the making of it as well and I think they've had a really good time, I hope so anyway. see what it's like actually working in this kind of environment and with all the, the tools and everything. We usually think of like art as just like painting and just artists but they don't really think about all the different ways that it's used in like no, normal world. You kind of become part of something, um, like a team and you kind of have to share ideas around um, and yeah like work together to try and make something really good. I think the Club is really important. I think it's really good because it's 
opening the eyes of young people to professions and disciplines that they would otherwise not have access to. And I think that's really important and it's really diverse and it's growing and that's great.